this is it. Alpna here. In this video, we are going to see a problem from circuit. So let's get started. If x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy equals to 0 is a circle with center minus 4 comma minus 3. That is order pair minus 4 comma minus 3. Then find g comma f and the radius of the circle. So we are given a circuit and its center. And we are asked to find gf the values of g and f and its radius solution given circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy equals to 0 and its center Minus 4 comma minus 3. We know that the center and radius of a circle x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 is given by Minus g comma minus f ordered by minus g comma minus f and square root of g square plus f square minus c. Okay. So, we are asked to find, here we are asked to find g and f values, right? But we are given the center ordered by minus 4 comma minus 3, which means that we are given minus g comma minus f values right fine using center we'll find gf values okay after getting the values of g f and c we'll find the radius of the given circuit fine we have from the hypothesis we have Minus g comma minus f equals to minus 4 comma minus 3, right? We are given center minus 4 comma minus 3, which means that center minus g comma minus f equals to this one, okay? From this, we'll get minus g equals to minus 4, then g equals to 4, and minus f equals to minus 3. Then f equals to 3. Therefore, g equals to 4, f equals to 3. Alright. So, by comparing these two equations, we'll get c equals to 0. Since we don't have any constant here, right? Constant term. Then c equals to 0. Compare x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy equals to 0 with standard circle equation x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0, right? From this we'll get c equals to 0. Okay? We don't have any constant term, so we'll consider C as 0. Okay, fine. So now we are having the values of G, F, and C. Therefore, G equals to 4, comma, F equals to 3, and C equals to 0. Now we'll find radius. Using the formula, R equals to square root of G square plus F square minus C. So now we'll substitute the values of G, F and C in this formula. We'll get 4 square plus 3 square minus 0. Which is equals to square root of 4 square is 60 
plus 3 squared is 9, 16 plus 9, 6 plus 9, 15, 1 plus 1, 2, equals to square root of 25, which is equals to 5. So, therefore, the radius of the given circle is 5. Therefore, the radius of the given circuit is 5. Okay. If you want, you can write this equation as x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus 0 equals to 0. Okay. In order to compare the given equation with the circle equation in standard form and in order to find the value of C. Okay. For our convenience, we can write the equation like this. So, this is all for now. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.